Hello and welcome to our eighth episode of You Eat or You Eat. Uh, if you're new, thanks for joining us. If you're coming back, welcome back. Um, today, we're not going to be cooking here. We're going to be on location. As I mentioned in my last episode, I would be catering my sister's daughter's baby shower. And uh, so that's what I did this weekend. And today we're going to feature a couple recipes from, what the, from the event that we did uh, this past weekend. And I hope you enjoy them. Are you ready? Here we go. Here are a few items that we had on the menu. A fig and prosciutto pizza. We had a pizza margarita with fresh Campari tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, and fresh basil. We made some cannoli cups and crudite cups. The salmon teriyaki with grilled bok choy and fried rice was a big hit and we'll be featuring the fried rice today. And the chicken franchise that we featured on a previous episode. So after we came up with the menu, we went to a restaurant supply store, which is humongous. It's like the Home Depot for restaurants. You could buy just about anything in bulk here that's food related. It's a free membership. You do have to have a tax ID to shop here. This walk-in refrigerator is huge. It's the biggest walk-in I've ever been in. And I was the purchasing manager for food and nutrition at one of the largest hospitals in the country. This place makes Costco look like a hot dog cart. You get tremendous discounts you have to buy in bulk. Right there is a the salmon that we used for the teriyaki salmon and it was awesome. We also picked up some 2125 shrimp for our garlic shrimp. We finished up in the produce section of the walk-in and then we started our process. After washing the asparagus and thoroughly washing the bok choy, we're going to grill both of them. We'll put a little oil on the asparagus, no oil on the bok choy. We're going to pre-make the white sushi rice for the fried rice. There's a recipe for this at the end of the video. I'm going to take canola oil and stick butter and scramble two eggs. We'll add the rice to the mixture, some more butter and some soy sauce. Don't worry if you don't understand the recipe. This is a unique situation and I will feature this recipe step by step. I would normally saute the onions and carrots uh, before and then scramble the egg, but I forgot. So I added them later. You want to constantly be stirring and tossing the rice and make sure when you're browning it, you can add more soy sauce if needed to taste. Give it one last taste. Delicious. Oops, it was a hectic day and I did forget to put in some scallions and the frozen peas, but nobody missed it. Okay, the second recipe we'll be featuring today will be the margarita pizza. I took about a dozen Campari tomatoes, I cut them and then I hand crushed them in a bowl. From the request of my niece, I used this perfect pinch Italian seasoning. It actually was pretty good, it has seven different herbs in it. I also added some salt to the mixture. I greased the sheet pan with some olive oil and stretched out the dough and let it sit for about an hour. Now it's ready for me and I'm going to add the chunky parts of my Campari tomatoes. We'll spread the tomatoes out throughout the dough and then we'll add a little bit of the juice to fill in the gaps. We don't want it too moist. And then we'll slice up the cheese as needed. This cheese is a little bit big so I'll tear them up into small pieces and spread them out as well. And we want to see the tomatoes after the cheese is melted so we don't want to put too much cheese. But it's your pizza and you could put as much fresh mozzarella cheese as you like. We'll finish this off with sprinkling a little Pecorino Romano cheese and place it in a preheated oven of 450 degrees for about 10 to 14 minutes. Did you eat? You want to eat? Make this recipe. Or make this recipe. They both were delicious. We will feature the full recipes of both of these dishes on an upcoming episode of G-Eat.
This is my older sister. She's number four, I'm number five. She was at the event, but she has a long ride, left early, and missed the group photo. Please subscribe. Don't make me beg. Thank you for watching. Hey, you can hire Chef Dave for your small intimate parties up to 20 to 25 people. Go to www.jaeat.tv slash contact. Fill out a quick form and we'll get back to you.